Welcome to Airborne on Wednesday, March 29th, bringing you all the latest from the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo. I'm your host, Colin Blake. The staff of the Aero News Network and Sun and Fun have once again partnered to bring you all the news from the show via the Sun and Fun Digital Daily at snfdd.com. Today's show is brought to you by Cub Crafters. The impossible engine meets the impossible aircraft in Cub Crafters' brand new Carbon Cub UL, powered by Rotax. Coming up on the program today, ANN flies the DA50RG, a first look at a 300 horsepower traveling machine. Aerox provides more details about Boomula. The innovation preview rocked sun and fun. Now let's get into today's stories. ANN flies the DA50RG, a first look at a 300 horsepower traveling machine. Just prior to the start of festivities at Sun and Fun 2023, we had the chance to do a quick test jaunt in Diamond's long-awaited DA50RG. The conditions weren't great, a direct crosswind, lots of nearby scud hiding arriving SNF traffic, and limited time in which to enjoy the flight, but the DA50 delivers an exceptional stable platform with solid handling qualities that benefits a serious traveling machine. Fastest airplane ever? No, not even close, but what it is is a spacious, rock-solid platform with excellent slow-flight capabilities that resist stupidity and ham-handedness well, and offers cruise envelope dynamics that any company would be proud of. The monstrous 300-horsepower Austro Diesel is a fairly smooth mill and produces a pretty nice ride, but there's no mistaking there's something massive under the cowl. ANN's Jim Campbell said, quote, what I liked best was a stability and control profile that seemed well-suited for the IFR and cross-country pilot who wants to go places without breaking a sweat. Ground handling was fairly obedient, and the aforementioned crosswind was not that big a deal, even allowing me one of my better landings of the month." End quote. The performance is not breathtaking, but the obedience of the airplane is otherwise persuasive, and we'll have much more to say in detail shortly. And coming up after the break, Kolb Aircraft is back. Calculating carbon monoxide. Welcome back to Airborne Unlimited, bringing you all the news from Sun and Fun 2023 at Lakeland Linder International Airport. If you've seen something especially cool around Sun and Fun, post it with hashtag SNF23Cool. And now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Kolb Aircraft is back. 
One of the finest ultralight experimental series ever designed was the product of a great and highly principled fellow by the name of Homer Kolb. Some 8,000 airplanes were ultimately built from his design and the company, having been somewhat inactive for a while, is now under new ownership, which we hope will mean good things for some outstanding little airplanes. Homer unfortunately has been gone for a while now, but it's nice to see his flying machines live on. Cuban migrants fly motorized hang glider to U.S. On Saturday, March 25, 2023, two Cuban migrants utilized a motorized hang glider to make the 90-some mile crossing from the communist-controlled island to Key West, Florida. The Sunshine State's Monroe County Sheriff's Office said the duo landed safely at Key West International Airport at approximately 10.30 EDT and were turned immediately over to the U.S. Border Patrol. Monroe County spans the southwestern tip of the Florida Peninsula and encompasses the islands of Key Largo, Isla Mirada, Marathon, Big Pine Key, and Key West. Dyer and Hartzell Propeller developed new prop option for Kodiak 100. Under a recently approved STC, Hartzell Propeller's five-blade composite propeller for Dyer's Kodiak 100 aircraft will be available as both a factory option and a for-retrofit under Hartzell's top prop program. Subject Propeller can replace the four-blade aluminum Hartzell prop currently offered as standard equipment on Kodiak 100s. The aerodynamic design of the new propeller's carbon fiber blades allows cruise revolutions to be reduced from 2200 to 2000 RPM, thereby contemporaneously reducing noise and producing smoother operations with zero loss in climb rate and or cruise performance. UAVionics introduces TrueSky ADS-B spoofing detection. UAVionics announced the imminent introduction of its TrueSky ADS-B spoofing detection for the company's Skyline uncrewed aircraft system beyond visual line of sight services. The aforementioned innovation bolsters pilot and air traffic controller confidence by scrutinizing a given aircraft's ADS-B signal and validating it is indeed originating from subject aircraft and not being fraudulently broadcast as a means to fake or spoof the signal. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Aerox provides more details about Boomula. One of the innovation preview presentations that seemed to get a lot of attention was the expanded look at Aerox's Boomula. This year, uh, Aerox announced the Boomula headset mounted cannula, and we've been coming to the show for a, a long time. And at every show, pilots have been asking for a conserving headset mounted cannula. Ease of use, convenience, and good looks. So we developed the Boomula. It comes with two mounts. One is a self sticking mount that mounts on a headset cup for like David Clark and other headsets. For the Bose headset, we've got the uh, a special hard mount that mounts right on the Bose A20. So it makes it's super convenient, super rugged, and good looking, and integrates real nicely with the uh, with the headset. This morning, we also announced an acquisition. We've signed a uh, letter of intent to acquire a product line from uh, O2 Corp out of uh, Wichita, Kansas. That'll give us therapeutic and medical oxygen equipment for uh, larger business jets that ties into our strategy of being a full systems integrator and supplier of oxygen systems for the industry. So we're really excited about that, and uh, hopefully. The, uh, the acquisition will close by early to mid, uh, mid-May. mid We're here in, uh, in booth uh, A098, right here in the A hangar, right at the corner when you walk in, so you can't miss us. Come stop by, say hello. We've got show specials. We've got plenty of inventory, and uh, you can take home an oxygen system and, uh, and try it on your way home. And after these messages, Innovation Preview rocks sun and fun. Vantage is Avidyne's family of all new flight display systems for retrofit and forward fit applications. Initial certification will be Vantage 12, retrofit glass for legacy Cirrus aircraft. Vantage 12 brings advanced capabilities and adds new life to Cirrus aircraft, including large 12 inch diagonal hybrid touchscreen displays, 3D synthetic vision, and split screen capabilities. Additional Vantage programs will be announced in the future. We're really looking forward to seeing you live and in person at Sun and Fun in Florida. 
Now, if you can't join us in Florida, we have some great deals for you that you can take advantage of right from your home. You can take 23% off any King Schools course from right now through April 6th. Just go to our website, kingschools.com, and use the code word FLY. Welcome back. Innovation Preview rocked Sun and Fun. We came, we saw, we previewed. The first Sun and Fun Innovation Preview is now history and a very successful history at that. Despite having to take our first shot at a project like this at an outside venue and for the largest potential audience ever, the ANN crew, led by Nathan Cremasino, pulled it off. SNF boss Gene Conrad led off the roster of 25 innovative companies with some to announce and did a bang-up job of setting the tone for the fascinating event that covered new planes, new programs, new engines, new avionics, you name it, and educated thousands around the world. And next month, we'll do it all again with our great partners at AEA for their 2023 trade show and convention in Orlando, Florida, where the avionics news and innovations are expected to be hot and heavy. And we can't wait to show it all to you. As usual, be sure to check out airborne-live.net for links to all of our live programming, as well as archives of some of the best live streams we've undertaken heretofore. AEA 2023 starts April 24th and will feature three days of aviation's best news programming from those of us here at ANN with our good partners at AEA. Well, that's our show for today as we close out day two of Sun and Fun 2023. Be sure to check out all of our work and stay up with the latest news at snfdd.com, the Sun and Fun Digital Daily. I've been your host, Holland Lee, and you've been watching Airborne Unlimited Sun and Fun Digital Daily on the Aero News Network. Thanks again to Cub Crafters for making our coverage of Sun and Fun 23 possible, and thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.